morning, brothers and sisters. Let us please stand to say the Angelus. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Ratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon this with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body. Strengthen their commitment. Protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. St. Joseph. Pray for us. St. Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. St. James the Great. 
pray for us. Brothers and sisters, welcome to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We are Tuesday of week 25. Today is the feast of St. Andrew Kim Tajion and St. Paul Chong Hasang. St. Andrew was born in Seoul, Korea, to converts to the faith. His father was a martyr, baptized at the age of 15. He traveled 1,300 miles to the nearest seminary in South China and was ordained Korea's first native priest. In 1846, he was tortured and beheaded, along with his lay associate, St. Paul Chong Hasang. Between 1839 and 1867, 113 martyrs gave their lives for the faith in Korea. Let us please welcome our presiding priest, Father Raleigh Agustin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we are celebrating the feast day or memorial of St. Andrew Tim, Andrew Kim Taegon and Paul Chong Hasang and companion martyrs. 100 plus of them. Huh? We became... Christianity entered the Philippines in the 16th century. Christianity entered in uh, Korea in the 18th century. And so we are 200 or more than 200 years in advance. Yet, they have more than 100 saints because they have more than 100 martyrs for the faith. Let us pray for the growth of faith in the Philippines, especially on the way we carry ourselves as Catholic Christians in our country. Coming together as God's family, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs Andrew Kim, Taegon, and his companions a most fruitful seed of Christians. 
grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever Amen reading from the book of Proverbs. Like a stream is the king's heart in the hand of the Lord. Wherever it pleases him, he directs it. All the ways of a man may be right in his own eyes, but it is the Lord who proves hearts. Do what is right and just. It's more acceptable to the Lord then sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the tillage of the wicked is sin. The plans are, of the diligent are sure of profit, but all rash haste leads certainly to poverty. Whoever makes a fortune by a lying tongue is chasing a bubble over deadly snares. The soul of the wicked man desires evil. His neighbor finds no pity in his eyes. When the arrogant man is punished, the simpler are the wiser. When the wise man is instructed, he gains knowledge. The just man appraises the house of the wicked. There is no one, there is one who brings down the wicked to ruin. He who shuts his ear to cry of the poor will himself also call and not be heard. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord in the way of your commands. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will mediate on your wondrous deeds. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. And I will keep your law continually, forever and ever. Guide me, Lord, in the way of your commands. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Glory to you, O Lord. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him, but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our reflection is on the first reading today from the book of Proverbs, which says, If you ignore them, you will be ignored. John R. Coleman, former president of Haverford College, wanted to get a first-hand feel of the plight of the poor in New York City. So, he spent 10 days on the streets without money or shelter to be with the homeless. A diary of those 10 days was published in the New York magazine. One entry reads, I walk much more slowly I no longer see a need to be to beat the traffic light. Force of habit still makes me look at my wrist, but there's no watch there. And it wouldn't make any difference if they were there. The thermometer has become much more important. I go back to the heated grade on 37th Street. The man who was there last night is already in place. Coleman's experience affected his attitude towards the homeless in a dramatic way. The question that we may ask ourselves is this. How responsive are we to the very poor? Huh? How responsive are we to the poor? Jesus' message of the gospel and his own life are our guidelines in seeking God's will. Let us pray to God our Father that we may follow him and live his message. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may live the spirit of the gospel and always seek God's will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That we may deepen our faith by extending services to the poor, the handicapped, and the disadvantaged. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may become true members of God's family by being faithful to the will of the Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That we may make God's word alive in us by living it out in the daily circumstances of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find perpetual light and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Silence. Let us pray for our personal intentions 
the Mass intentions for today and those that have asked us to pray for them. Lord, make us worthy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, make us worthy to belong to your family by our life of faith, expressed in our good deeds. Make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. sisters and brothers, that these are sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised, their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give us ardor to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with St. James and the Blessed Apostles, with St. Andrew Kim, Taigon, Paul Hassan, and companion martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, violence, calamities, pandemic, as we await the ho joyful hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of Lamb, God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourish with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs. We humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. James the Great. O glorious St. James, zealous apostle, behold us, the people of God, who are gathered under your patronage, prostrating ourselves before Jesus Christ, our Master and Lord. Through your intercession, we pray for God's grace to become a true worshiping community of disciples and a church of the poor, believing firmly in Him, joyfully living in harmony and solidarity with one another and with God. In the spirit of faith and trust in the Lord, we also bring to you our needs to pray for our intentions. You are the generous yes, follower, follower of, of the Lord, Lord the tireless evangelizer of the Word, the great apostle and the courageous martyr for Christ before God's throne in heaven. Unite and guide us under the one banner of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. St. James the Great, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Help the poor. Thanks be to God. Oh, 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 oh,